and lift off the rise of Starliner in a new era of human spaceflight. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and two solid rocket boosters ignite to generate more than a million and a half pounds of thrust to lift the rocket away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. To ensure crew safety and comfort, the Atlas V rolls to a heads-up position and uses booster engine throttling to limit vehicle acceleration to 3.5 Gs. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound at 1 minute 5 seconds. The two SRBs are jettisoned at 2 minutes 20 seconds. At 4 minutes 29 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the booster engine shuts down. Six seconds later, the Atlas Centaur separation system activates to release the booster stage. The vehicle now weighs less than 9% of what it did at liftoff. Jettison of the ascent cover occurs at 4 minutes 41 seconds. The ascent cover protects critical hardware on top of the spacecraft and provides an aerodynamic shape for ascent through the atmosphere. Four seconds later, burn of the dual-engine Centaur begins. This burn guides the Centaur to an elliptical suborbital trajectory at an inclination of approximately 51.6 degrees. Approaching aeroskirt jettison, the Centaur is burning propellant at a rate of 100 pounds, or 45 kilograms per second, traveling at more than 10,520 miles, or 16,930 kilometers per hour, and located 78 miles, or 126 kilometers in altitude, and 333 miles, or 536 kilometers downrange. The ULA-designed aeroskirt extends the Starliner's surface, enhancing its aerodynamic characteristics and stability, and minimizing the loads of this unique crewed configuration. At approximately 5 minutes 5 seconds, the aeroskirt is jettisoned. Nearly 12 minutes into flight, cutoff of the Centaur main engines, or MECO-1, occurs. The mission now enters a suborbital coast phase in preparation for separation. Centaur's suborbital trajectory design enhances crew safety by providing a shallow orbit more favorable for an abort if required and ensures the Centaur will naturally deorbit, impacting the ocean off the southwest coast of Australia. At 14 minutes and 50 seconds, Centaur releases the CST-100 Starliner on its second orbital flight test.